Hello friends, welcome back to Snippet Coder and we are back in another video. In this video, we will talk about a new package which we have published. We will talk about reason behind creating this package and also we will learn how to use this package. So before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Thank you. Most of the time I get direct messages regarding that to make some video regarding offline access of the application. For that reason, we have created the new package and the name of the package is API Cache Manager. What does this package do? So this package will store all your HTTP get requests in the local database that is SQLite and this will boost up your performance of your application, especially in those applications where there is lot of HTTP get requests. So let's explore the package. So the name of the package is API Cache Manager and API Cache manage is a utility package built with flutter sdk and sqlite package this package will help to make your rest api store in the local db for offline access so what type of feature it will provide it will provide offline integration of the rest api faster data rendering avoid unnecessary http get requests app will work without internet also and it will speed up the application also. Suppose if you are making any application and there you need to store the data in the local database also. So instead of creating a new local database every time in your new projects, instead of that you can use this package and you can directly have to call two to three functions and that function will help to store your data and you can easily boost up the performance of your application with this package. So how to use this package? So we have to add that dependency in that uh, Flutter application. And the name of that package is api underscore cache underscore manager. And then we have that four functions here. First one is a is api cache key exists. And we have to provide the key name and there it will return true or false on the basis of that key name. It will basically check in the database that this particular key is exists or not. If it exists, then it will return as true. If not, it will return as false. And the second function is add cache data. What it will do, it will store all that REST API get data in our local database that is SQLite. And there we have to call this model file. And inside that model file, we have two parameters. First one is a key and the second one is a sync data. So key we have to provide any unique name for every REST API and the sync data will be all your JSON that will be stored in our database. Then third function is get cache data and there we have to provide the key name and it will return the data on the basis of the key name which is stored in our database. And the last function is the empty cache and with the help of this function we can remove all the data from the cache that is local storage and it will remove all the cache so now let's move to the flutter application to see how to use this package in our application So this is our existing application of WooCommerce admin series and from there we will integrate our this package to see the uses of this package. In our this application flutter admin series we have a lot of HTTP get requests. So here we will add that package and then we will test the functionality over there. First of all we have to go to the pop spec and there we have to add the package name and the package name is api underscore cache underscore manager. And the version we are using here 1.0.1. So now we will go to our API service file and here we will go to api underscore service dot dot file and here we will go to our get categories method and here we will create one variable here where is cache exists is equal to await api cache manager and here we will call this function is api cache exists and here we have to provide a key name. So now we are just calling first time. We have to provide a key name and key name can be anything which we can remember. Like we can put key name like this API underscore categories. So this key name will be used and we will use the same similar format for other APIs also. And here we will check if is cache exists. And here we will check if cache not exists. Then we will call this whole code. and we will cut from here and we will paste here and here in the else condition we will put here where cache data is equal to await api cache manager dot get cache data and here we have to provide a key name and we will use the same key name that is api underscore categories 
and here we are in the else condition that means we have the data here and then from here we will return and we have to return this whole code we will copy from here and we will paste here so here instead of putting here response dot body we will put a cache data dot sync data so what it will do it will get all the data of that cache data by putting the key name here and it will on the basis of that key it will return us the data and inside that data we having our sync data and that data we have to put in our database also and let me explain you how we can put in the database also and here in this condition if the cache is not exist then here we can put the data because we're here we are just calling the api and here we have to create one object here api cache db model cache db model is equal to new of api cache db model and here you have to provide a key name and the key name should be api underscore categories and sync data we have to pass this response dot body and we will paste here so now here we will call await api cache manager dot add cache data and here we have to provide a model here so what it will do we have created one model here and that is cache db model and here we are passing the key and the sync data and then we are just calling add cache data and here we have that all the data here and then we are just calling the add cache data and we are just providing that api model and then it will save all the data here so let me explain from the beginning so we have created one variable here is cache exists and here we are checking if that cache is exists in our database and the name of the cache we are providing api underscore categories and if that is not exist then we are calling here regular api hit and the else condition we are just calling here get cache data on the basis of that key name and whatever the data we are getting that is a json and we are just calling this categories from json and here we are just calling json dot decode and we are just decoding that json here and here when we are getting in the api when we are getting the status code 200 then we are just adding that data in our database so in case if we have already accessed that key in our database then it will just update the data in our local database on the basis of that key so let's run the application to see is it working or not so before doing that we have to put the some console here to see that api hit is going or that local cache data hit is going so here we have url hit and here in the else condition we will put here cache hit so now let's run the application to see so here we have our application so now let's click on that categories so here you can see the hit has been gone to the url because that api hit has been gone because we don't have any data in our cache so now we got all the data now if i click on the products and if I again click on the categories, so now you can see here the data is coming from the cache and you can also notice that data is also getting very fast from our local database. So we can have everything over here. Again, if I click here, now you can see products are getting load very late because of it is calling to the API. If I again click on the category, now you can see here, again it is getting from the cache. So now let's implement the same thing in our product API also to see how fast the data is coming for the products also. So let me copy this code and here we have our get products. So now let's paste this code here and I will put here. So now we will change the name to api underscore products and here also we will add, we will create the model here api cache model is equal to new of api cache model and the key name we are providing here api underscore products and we have to verify the name if is is it same or not let me copy paste this and the sync data we have to copy response.body to here and here we will call await api cache manager dot add cache data and here we will add the cache db model and here in the else condition we will get the data from our cache and here we have where cache data is equal to await api cache manager dot get cache data and here we have to provide a key name and the key name is api underscore products so make sure we are using the correct key to get the data else it will not load the data properly and here also we will copy this line and we will paste here and this one also we will change it to here dot sync data and here we will console write products 
cache here and here we have products api so now reload the application to see is it working for the products or not and here if i click on the products so now first it has been gone to via api so now if i come to the categories you can see the data has come from the cache and if i again click here in the products so now data is coming from the cache not from our api same way if i click here categories so data is coming from the cache and the product also data is coming from the cache so now you can also notice their speed of the data which is coming when we are hitting the api the data is loading very slow but if the data is coming from the offline database then it is coming very fast so it will also boost up the our application performance also so if you like this video or if you like this package then please go to the package and give the like over there so that it can also help other to notify that this package is useful or not so that's all in this video i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel like comment share i will come back soon with another awesome videos thank you all